everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Carrie. if you're new here, and today's video is going to be a little bit different than a video I've ever done on my channel. I am basically just doing yard work, housework, doing a little bit of things that have been on my list to get done. So I figured I'd go ahead and just bring you along with me today, so I hope you all enjoy. Y'all, right, so this is what I'm cleaning. Um, there's kind of like a green... Um, like residue. I'm pretty sure it's from like all the pollen because it gets really bad around this time of year. But I'm just spraying it with a, like a little bit of bleach and water mixture, and then I'm just gonna hose it all off. I'm gonna get all of it off, but it looks a lot better than it did. Hey guys, so excuse my appearance right now. I've been sweating really bad. I've been outside um, cleaning off the siding, which I probably will put this put that in this clip. Um, how I do that? I just use like a little one of the kids little brushes and that's what I use with a spray bottle anyway I'll put that in the video as well but um, I want to share with you guys a little tip to kind of make your house look a lot nicer um, but not spend a whole lot so it's just um, caulking the creases the areas that need to be caulked because this is super cheap this is only like a dollar fifty at Dollar General and it will do quite a bit so I don't know if you guys can see this I'm going to show you do um, you see up on the ceiling where there's like a gap up there it's really hard to see because I'm so short, but I'll show you where it's really bad. It's right here above our window. See that gap? All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and get started. So what I do is I just take the caulking gun and I just run it along the side of like where the, cre or where the gap is. And then I take a baby wipe and I gently rub to smooth out the line. This is just the way I do it. I've tried a million different ways, and this is the way that I like it the best. I know everyone has their own techniques, and this isn't probably the proper way to... Um, you know caulk seams and stuff but it works for me so I'm just gonna do what I know best I've been high I've been low I've been chasing all the things I never had before All the way down By the river Alright, so now that I'm done caulking everything, I'm going to go ahead and paint the doors. So this is something I've been wanting to do for a while. I just have been procrastinating because I wasn't sure how they would turn out with the um, type of material that these doors are. But I just used a really strong degreaser to clean them and then I just started painting them. I've been chasing all the things I never had before All the way down by the river I found a place where I can drown the old you And when you look on the horizon What you see is what you get Alright, so, so far I got the first coat on the front and the back of the door and then I just started prepping to paint this door. I just use a very strong degreaser to clean the doors off so there's no grease so the paint will stick to it okay. And since these are gold and everything else in our house is like brown or silver, I'm going to go ahead and spray paint these. Um, these are fine because they're brown. They're just old little trailer handles. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and spray paint these, I think. Like a dark bronze color, the same spray paint I used to paint those knobs. So just in case anyone is wondering, we are just using the um, Color Place paint to do this. This is not the paint and primer mixed together. That's why I had to do so many coats, but it worked really good. It actually adhered to the door really well, and this door is like one of those older fashion type of wood panel doors. So it's like really waxy. Um, I don't know how to really explain that texture, but anyway, this paint did adhere to it okay without peeling or anything like that. I did have to do a total of three coats, which I'll probably explain somewhere in the video, but um, so far, so good. Alright, so as you can see, I actually just paint them while they're hanging up. It was just a lot easier than taking them off, going and finding a spot outside, waiting for one side to dry, and then flipping it. 
it was just a lot easier just to do it while it was hanging up. I mean, I didn't even have to wait. I just opened it, and I you can see my finger. I'm holding it with the, you know, where the door um, handle goes. So this worked great. I recommend doing it this way if you can. You're giving a wonderful dog. You're welcome. You see me on the camera painting? Yep. All right, so in just a second, I'm going to move on to the second coat on the closet door. But I just wanted to let you guys know that this paint um, works really well. I did have to do a lot more coats on this one because this wasn't the paint and primer mix. Um, I accidentally picked up the wrong can. But I highly recommend trying out this paint. It's the Color Place from Walmart. It works really well. And it's pretty cheap, by the way. It's only like $23. Um, to $24 a gallon, I believe, and that's with color. So that's not bad at all. All right, so at this point, Maya, please stop for just a second, okay? At this point, I have two coats on the doors. I probably am going to have to do one more coat just because they were so dark and I didn't prime them first. But this is how they look so far. They look pretty good. The paint's holding on really well. There's nothing going wrong just yet. <laughs> And I wanted to show you guys this door. This door only has one coat on it. You can see where my daughter was painting with the paintbrush. But once I put a couple coats on it, you won't see that. And this is the other side. So it's drying pretty good. So here's a little update. Me and my partner are eating some ice cream, huh? <laughs> yeah. We needed a little break, huh? Yeah, there's a lot of painting going on today, huh? We've been busy. Yep. That's what we're doing, eating some ice cream. Alright, and here I am going ahead and spray painting these little doorknobs. I really love this um, spray paint, but it does take forever for it to dry. It takes at least a day, almost two days, for it to dry fully. This is the same spray paint that I used on my um, knobs in my kitchen, as well as that little nightstand that I redid. Mm -hmm. have done um, got three coats of paint on the doors in my bedroom I still have to paint the bathroom door and my kids bedroom that or yeah my kids bedroom door on the other side of the house but I'm gonna save that for tomorrow because I am literally wore out I have cleaned outside um, I have been so busy but the doors look super good white they look brand spanking new it looks really pretty in here so I will show you guys a clip after as soon as I get the little knobs back on Alright, so I quickly just wanted to share with you this little tip. I've shared this on my channel before, but I figured I'd go ahead and put it in this video as well. So if you take and just put your whole um, rolling um, pan and your rolling brush inside a garbage bag and seal it really tight, it'll stay wet so that way you don't have to rinse out the brush and everything. Especially if you feel like you're going to be painting the next day. This saves like a ton of time. Alright, you guys, so I just pulled in back home and... <laughs> I got Subway for dinner because I was too tired to cook. So we're going to eat some Subway. But I just wanted to tell you guys that everyone in my house is being so grumpy <laughs> but me. I'm the only one that's in a really good mood. And I was like, what is wrong with everybody? Let me get out of this house. <laughs> so hopefully everyone, um, maybe everyone's just hangry. That's probably what it is. But I'm going to show you guys the doors in just a minute after we eat dinner. And then I'm going to end the video. So I hope you guys are enjoying. All right, so these are the doors now that they're all painted white. Looks so much better. We're going to have to get new door handles because I broke them. <laughs> and then this is the bedroom, or the closet door. Like I said, I'm going to have to pick up some new handles because um, these were just so old that they ended up breaking um, when I went to go put them back on. But it looks so much better now that they're white. So much more clean. And then y'all can see that that gap is all filled, so it looks so much better in here. All right, and so then this is the backyard right now. We have a pond back over there. All this stuff that's piled up right there um, is just weeds and stuff that have grown that have grown up. There's a bunch of like garbage in there from the people who lived here before us, so we need to go through there and clean it all out. But this is what we're working with so far. I want to plant some like flowers inside the roots of that tree right there. I thought it would be pretty to make that like a little garden area. So, this is what we got so far. So it's really pretty out here. It's so beautiful. 
All right, you guys, so that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. <laughs> Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you're new to see more videos like this. And I'll see all of you in my next video. Bye, y'all.